So welcome to day one. We're going to start right with the warm up. We're going to do approximately 10 minutes. If it's getting too much for you, please just walk on the spot, have water anytime you need it. Ready? Let's go. March it out. So the trick here for the low bone density program, we always need to keep the chest up. I'm always going to remind it to you and I'm going to say smell the cookies. Okay, when, we, when it smells good, what we do? We do that. Look what's going on with the chest. So this is what we're going to focus on. Let's go. Move your arms. That's it. And tap your toes. Swing your arms as well, each side. Four, three, two, that's it. Let's march again. This time, just rotate your shoulders slowly backwards. And I do way more shoulders back than forward because of posture. Good, tap again in front and swing your arms in front of your body. That's it. Four, three, two, and bring your heels in front. Heels, try to swing again your arms right here. So bring your toes as high as you can towards the sky. In four, three, two, point, back, point. Point, point. You don't need to follow the rhythm of the music. I prefer you go at your own pace. Four, keep your shoulders back. Three, two, that's it. Let's go only with your right foot. Right, right, right. Feel the work right here in your quads. Let's switch. Point back. That's it. In four, Three, two, and march. Lift the chest again. Let's go in leg curls. So try to bend your knees as much as you can. Just respect your joints. Make sure you're gonna have enough room. We're gonna move forward and back. Are you ready? Let's go forward for four. Four, three, two, backwards for four. And again, forward for four, three, two, and back for four. And step touch. So just bring your shoes together. Again, lift the chest for me. And forward, four, three, two, backwards for four. And again, forward in four, three, two, and back for four. And march. I want you to swing your arms in front and back of your body. That's it. Again, stay nice and tall. Bring your arms right here, palm facing up. You're holding two plates. Shoulders down and back, open your arms. Inhale, exhale to open. That's it, inhale, exhale. We're gonna go for four, three, and two. That's it, and last one. Good, let's go back to step touch. Four, three, two, let's move to the right for four, four, three, two, and switch. Four, three, two, and again, switch it up. You got it. Again, switch. And let's come back. And leg curls. Then, knees up, right here. Staying nice and tall. That's it. Open your knees. Four, three, Two, let's go back to the march. Feel the work in your hips. Four, three, two, tap for two. Tap and tap with your left. 
And again, right, left, right, and left. Four, three, two, and that's it. March it out. We're gonna tap side and reach. Are you ready? Let's go. Up. Four, three, two, press in front. So keeping the shoulders in the pockets all the time. Four, three, two, cross your arms. That's it. Again, for four, three, two, and down, looking straight ahead. Look at me. There we go. In four, three, two, up for four, four, three, two, front. Cross. And down. Four, three, two, up for two. Front. Cross. Down. And again, up for two. Front. Cross. And down. That's it. And march on the spot. I'm giving you another break for your hips. Not for long. Open your legs right here. Four, three, two, come back, narrow. And again, open. Come back, narrow. Open. Narrow. Now let's go for four counts. Open, four, three, two, narrow for four. Open, four, three, two, narrow. And open. Let's do it one more time. Un, deux, trois, quatre, that's it. Now we're gonna go for two. Let's go open, narrow, open, narrow. In four, three, in two. Now I'm gonna go in a V. I'm gonna go slow. Open, open, narrow, narrow. Again, open, open, on the beat. Let's go, open, narrow. You'll get it. Add your arms on if you want. Up, up, clap, clap. Again, for four. Four, three, two, that's it. And we're gonna switch legs, so tap, and let's go with the other leg. I'm gonna go slow again to start. Open, open, narrow, narrow. Are you ready? On the beat, let's go. Add your arms, up, up. In four, three, two, good. And release and march on the spot. How are we feeling? Are we feeling warmer? Because this is exactly what we need to get. I'm gonna walk again side to side, but this time I'm gonna lift my knees. So nice and tall and move, lift your knees. So imagine I'm putting obstacles and you need to step over. Switch it up. Up. That's it. And again, and switch. Feel the work in your hips. Let's go again the other side. And let's come back just in the central and march it out. Feel the work, I feel it myself. And then we're gonna keep walking right here and I'm gonna slowly turn my head slow to the right and then slowly come back and slowly turn your head to the left. And again. So usually in my classes, we walk in circle and they have to do that. So if you want to walk in your house and do it, go for it. So just respect the limit of your neck. Good. And one more time to the other side. 
and release. Let's go back to step touch. And then skater, so you're gonna cross under, keeping the chest up. Let's go forward, four, three, two, back for four. And again, forward, four, three, two, back for four. Let's go back to the march again. I'm gonna move again side to side. This time I'm gonna rotate my hips. So rotate your hips, bring the other one out, in, two more times, out, in, last one, that's it, let's come back, out, in, lift the chest for me, bring the shoulders down and back, that's it, one more time, can we do it again, let's go only for two, out, in, good, and switch it up, do you feel your hips? So hips are body in a socket, we need to work them. Let's come back again, just in the middle. And then we're gonna inhale up, exhale. And again, up to inhale, exhale. One more time, up to inhale, exhale to release. I'm just gonna go slower. I'm bringing your heart rate down a little bit before we stop for a quick water break and then we're gonna go on the wall. Tap to the side, tap, tap, that's it. In four, three, two, tap back. Again, slow, no rush. That's it. In four, three, two, and release, march on the spot, inhale up, exhale. Two more times, up to inhale, exhale, and last one, up to inhale, exhale, and release. Good job, guys. Keep moving, please. Have water, and then let's come back against the wall. So I'm moving right here against the wall. Please just look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna demonstrate, and then we'll do it together. So I want you to keep your elbows right here by your side the entire time. I'm gonna work your triceps. We need to keep your tricep very strong guys, but also flexible. More your triceps are gonna be strong, less chance you have to hit your head right on the floor, okay? So elbows are sitting by your side. I'm opening my legs, hip bones apart. So hip bones apart are right here, not fat hip apart, so right here. Shoulders are down and back. Elbows by your side, let's go down right here. Abs are tight, and I'm gonna ask you to push slightly against the wall with your dominant hand. And then I'm gonna ask you to switch with your non-dominant. And then I'm gonna push with both. And eventually I'm gonna say, just push yourself away from the wall. And we're just gonna do the full range of motion, down and up slowly. We're gonna pretend as well that we're falling and you need to catch yourself, okay? Now, let's do it together. So come closer to the wall. I have maybe a foot distance with the wall. Shoulders are down and back, lift the chest, elbows by your side hands right here on the wall. So I have a 90 degree here at my elbow. I'm gonna come down slightly, and then I want you to push against the wall with your dominant hand. Let's go, push. For me, it's my right, so I'm gonna push with my right. And then release, inhale. Exhale, push with your left. So make sure your abs are tight, you're not arching your back. And then slowly release, push with both. Slightly, push with both. You don't see any movement here. And release. And then we're gonna go down and push yourself to extend your elbows. Inhale, down. Elbows are always by your side. Exhale. And again, down to inhale. Exhale. And let's do one more time. Good. And release. Give it a shake a little bit. Now we're gonna pretend that we're falling. You're gonna need to stop to break the movement. Ready? And watch your nose, okay? Let's go down and push yourself away from the wall. Again, down and push. Elbows are still by your side, abs are tight. Let's go down and let's do it again one more time. That's it. 
and release you can rotate your wrists you can also rotate your shoulders now let's go grab a chair and we're gonna start beside your chair on the right side we're gonna do some balance so let's be on the right side of your chair shoulders are down and back smell the cookies and I'm gonna use one or two fingers on the chair and I want you to tap to the side and come back that's your option one option two if you're stronger you don't want to touch the floor I want you to lift the leg without touching it ready shoulders down and back and let's go inhale exhale to lift for eight seven again you can just tap on the side right here that's your option one option two you lift that's it four how many fingers do you have on your chair try to have less some of you don't need support and one more feel the work in your left hip good job and let's slowly switch so same thing same option i want you to drop your shoulders lift the chest option one you point option two you lift the leg ready let's go for eight exhale inhale that's it and left again think about how many fingers you need on your chair i just don't want to see that try to avoid that we're practicing your balance just a light grip two more that's it one more again feel that work in your hip if it's too much eight is too much stop and just dance it out i'm going back on my right i'm going to do a leg circle so i'm going to go four each way okay lift the chest drop the shoulders let's go four three nice and slow breathe good and reverse that's it four three feel the work again your left we need that work and release this is stability for your pelvis let's switch it up smell the cookies drop your shoulders let's go for four three have you noticed that i'm staying nice and tall i'm not moving my upper body i'm just moving my hip and reverse the other way four that's it three and two last one beautiful and let's dance it out let's sit on your chair <sighs> you must be happy to be seated I'm going to give you a million dollar bill you're going to put it right between your heels but it's a very windy day so I want you to hold it there because I don't want it I don't want you to lose it okay lift the chest drop the shoulders inhale exhale hold it squeeze your heels together what I want to see I want you to grow so when you are contracting your heels you are contracting your glutes so bring your cheeks together okay let's go for eight inhale exhale heels together contract your glutes inhale exhale to contract do you see that I'm moving up that's it and again for five inhale exhale for four and three and two that's it feel the work in your glutes good and so you release you can do a gentle march i'm going to give you two options here at life you can just open your arms squeeze the shoulder blades together but of course you can do it seated but if you are okay with that i'd like if you can stand to do it and i'm going to bring your arms right here shoulders down and back we're just going to squeeze the shoulder blades that's it and help exhale and squeeze and again for five and four bring your abs slightly into your spine three and two have you noticed my palms are up good last one that's it and slowly release and sit down again on your chair we're going to work a little bit more in your legs so day one is always a little bit easier but trust me we're going to progress into the program we're going to press your left foot right into the floor 
Okay, so shoulders are down and back, smell the cookies, press your right foot into the floor. I want you to feel that little shift as well right in your hip. Feel the work in your quads. We're gonna go again for eight each leg. Are you ready? Inhale, exhale, press your right. Inhale, exhale to press. That's it. And again, so feel the work right here. And feel that shifting in your hips. In five, stay nice and tall. Your chin is parallel to the floor. That's it. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to go for one more. Good. And release. March it out. Let's put your legs. Same thing. We're just pressing your foot against the floor. Lift your chest. Inhale. Exhale to press for eight. Inhale to release. Exhale to press. Five, four, and three, two, and last one. Beautiful. And release, march it out. We're gonna work your core. So I want you to come forward a little bit. So let's say mid chair. Shoulders are down and back. Bring your abs into your spine. Lean back a little, just enough to feel your abs engaging. Come back, inhale. Exhale, back. So you're moving as a block, so my head is not moving. I'm giving you a lemon, and I want you to put it right here, underneath your chin, between your chin and chest. Stay right there, okay? So that's your measurement for your neck. There we go. Let's go again for four, inhale. Exhale to lean back. Inhale, exhale to go back. Two more. That's it. And last one. Beautiful. And slowly release. We have one more exercise to do. So try to keep your back off the chair. Smell the cookies, drop the shoulders. We're going to bring your leg up. Okay, and we're gonna keep the same leg. Let's go again for eight. Ready, inhale, exhale to lift. Inhale down, exhale to lift. Feel the work again right here in your quads. In five, four, that's it, three, Two, do you feel it? If it's too much, you release. Listen to your joints as well. That's it, and release. Let's march again. We can even inhale up, exhale to cactus. Let's do it again. Up, exhale to cactus. We're gonna go with your second leg. So lift the chest. Let's go for eight. Inhale, exhale. You got that. Again, for five, four, and three, and two. That's it. And last one. And slowly release. Please march it out. Inhale up. Exhale. And again, up to inhale. Exhale. One more time. Up to inhale and exhale right here. Stay right here in cactus. So bring your lemon again right here to lengthen the back of your neck. Breathe. And now we're just gonna go in stretch. Release and rotate your shoulders slowly backwards. Are you ready? Let's bring the right leg up. Flex your foot. So I want you to point your toes towards your nose. You're gonna feel the work again in your quads right here, but I want you to feel the stretch behind, underneath your leg, behind your knee as well, it's normal. Just breathe here. If it's too much, you just release. 
good and let's do your left again nice and tall try not resting your back and flex again your foot towards you just breathe that's it and slowly release. I'm gonna come forward again on my chair. Nice and tall. You're gonna slide a tiny bit your right foot on the chair. I want you to keep a little bit of a space underneath your heel and then you're gonna press. You're gonna feel the stretch right above your heel. So right, this is your soleus, usually it's tight. So lift the chest, open your arms. You can even turn your thumbs out. Think about your lemon again right here. Just breathe. That's it. And release. Let's switch your legs. Same thing. A tiny bit on in the chair. Press your heel. Notice the difference between both. See, this one is tighter for me this, today. And then again, open your arms. Thumbs out if you can. So we are opening the shoulders right here. And slowly release, rotate again your shoulders backwards. Let's stretch your hips. I'm gonna extend both legs. So it's very important for this one that you keep the chest up. I'm gonna give you several options here. Cross your right leg over your left. I want to see your knee out to stretch the hip. So that's your option one. Option two is lower than your knee. Option three, higher. Option four, you can bend the left leg. And I want you to stay right here. Okay, listen to yourself. Again, it's okay to be right here. Depends on the flexibility of your hip, also the health of your knee and hip. That's it, so relax your shoulders. What I see a lot in my classes for this one, rounded back. This is exactly what we need to avoid. Smell the cookies. There we go. Breathe. Do you feel that stretch right in your hip? And this one I have tendency to hold it a little bit longer because we are tight in our hips. Just keep breathing. It and slowly release. We're gonna do the same thing with the other leg. So choose your option, it can be different for your hips, both hips. Again, lift the chest, smell the cookies, breathe. And just notice the difference between both hips. There's always one tighter than the other one. Two more breaths here. Last one. Good. Lengthen your leg and let it go. I'm going to turn to my right, right here. I'm going to stretch my hip flexors. So I want you to hold onto your chair for safety, but point your knee down towards the floor. If you're here, that's okay. If you can bring it a little bit more behind you, it's okay. Okay, just do what you can. Lift the chest and look straight ahead. Just breathe here. Feel the opening right here, the front of the hip, and maybe it, going, it goes down towards your knee. That's your quads. Are you looking straight ahead? Do you feel that you can relax your shoulders? Good. Let's bring the back leg in front and let's switch it up. Same thing right here. So nice and tall, lift the chest and look straight ahead. So I'm right on my tippy toes. That's it. That's another one I hold a little bit longer. We, we are tight in the hip. Good, and slowly bring it back. By the way, if you have tendency to have cramps in your hamstrings, don't worry, you are normal. It's probably because we don't use the, the, the back of the legs very often. So just bring it back quick and you can try again. 
let's come back to neutral. So let's inhale up, exhale to cactus arms. So squeeze your shoulder blades together, drop your shoulders, inhale up. Again, exhale to cactus. One more time, up to inhale. Exhale to cactus, let's stay here for a few breaths. So I'm thinking, again, just the lemon right here. I'm looking straight ahead, guys. Make sure you're not looking down at the floor. Look at me. There we go. And release, rotate again your shoulders, slowly backwards. We're gonna do your triceps. So brush your hair, touch your upper back, and I want you to use your other hand just below your elbow to bring your elbow as high as you can towards the sky. If you're here, that's okay. I want we increase your flexibility to eventually to lift it up higher. We need to keep the triceps flexible for you to be able to brush your hair, wash your hair. Think about it, when you'll be 80 and 90 years old, you still want to be independent. Good, and slowly release and switch it up, same thing. Brush your hair, touch your upper back. And then with the other hand, see, I'm here. When I'm push up, I can lift it up a little bit higher. Just listen to your shoulders. Feel again the, the stretch in your triceps. Are you breathing? Good, and slowly release. Let's breathe again. After inhale, exhale to cactus. After inhale, exhale. One more time, out to inhale, exhale to cactus. Bravo. You have just completed day one. Please take a day or two before you move on to day two.